Jesus. Get out of my way. So, what is the, the sit rep for today at the start of this trip? Inspection due 300 miles. Shit, traction control light 35 degrees. Very nice. Tip, use the bug one first and then since this is a necessary evil great. then you'll get all the shite off of it that other people have used it won't ruin your your life as much if you don't do that before um, you hate your car did a bit of a no-no by using it on the wheels and then using it on that. See, I just drip it on it. I then have it cooked in paint because it ruins it. So we are, how many minutes into the journey? We are 10 minutes in, 10 minutes. How many events? Zero. So the video at the start, right, we had that flipping warning light on. That warning light is nothing to do with the ABS. That's the car basically being like, wash me. I'm I'm too, you know, I'm so, I, I really need a flipping wash. So I wash the car and it goes away. So that to me is the wash light. Maybe it's like, I don't know, like, a, like one of the, Thing is on the sensors is gone, I don't know, on the wheel speed sensors. Goes away when I wash it. Maybe it short circuits it, and then it's like, oh no, I, I can't get a reading from this sensor anymore, but yeah. Anyway, so there's this this crap already. Hooray, what a, what a great trip it is already. We've got some flipping road works. Um, funny thing is with this, is it would be absolutely hilarious to me, because in Sheffield, obviously, where we're from, They've decided to start adding cycle lanes and on one of the main roads into Sheffield, instead of having the two lanes, they've added a cycle lane on one of the lanes. So the traffic is absolutely abysmal. Like it's so bad. So it would be, uh, I, I'd cry with laughter if they made this bit into one ginormous cycle lane. Like cycle flipping mecca. Like crazy, crazy cycle so funny I'd, I'd cry with laughter at that I really would I don't know why you know when you just want to watch it's like watching the world burn with the bloody cycle like. also trivia that's where the MGF video was filmed when I went around that corner a few times very nice bit in Barnsley I just think it would be so funny if I did pull over there right now and was like fuck it Barnsley Barnsley holiday everybody I used to work in Barnsley I'm not slagging Barnsley by the way but I used to work in Barnsley so yeah, one of the things. And there's some stubble as well. Turn that off so you can hear how quiet this is. How quiet is this? Like, so quiet. Obviously, I'm just joining the motorway right now. So, yeah. You can hear me though. Like, so. This car is so quiet. Now, as you can hear, or you can't hear, I'm on the way away. Motorway now. Um, between Leeds and, Leeds and Flipping Barnsley. So we now just set the cruise control and absolutely just rot in the, in the driver's seat because there's nothing for us to do besides just be here because this car basically drives itself at this point. Not, not literally, please, not literally. So don't, don't buy one and like, sit in and put your cruise control on. Be like, car drives itself. No, um, the, it's just, yeah, it's just a nice place to be. And you just sort of sit here and you're like, 
you know, it, you more sit in it and observe your surroundings and um, see if you can see any cool cars. So far, I've seen nothing but crap. Um, there was a BMW something there, but I don't like BMWs, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, just like I said, we see some cool stuff. Other than that, though, as you can see by the revs going up, I might just keep that on there. Um, to obviously show you how quiet this car is. When I said the diesel engine wasn't refined in my last video, I more or less I should really um, correct myself on that because it is really, really refined and really nice on the motorway. But when you're around town, it just feels like an absolute pig. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my perception of diesel engines. Obviously, I'm I come from like a turbo 1.4 petrol, which was a blast around the city. A 1.2 petrol, which is a blast around the city. A V6 2.7 litre, which is a blast around the city and really low low speeds. This is obviously it still pulls and everything, but yeah, it just it feels like it's labouring a bit. But when you're on the motorway, man, I can just put it in cruise, and I'm just sat here now. Pure silence. Obviously, I'm going to listen to music. I don't want to get copyright claimed. Hence why I've got it off. But you can hear no rattles besides my janky phone holder. No squeaks. You can hear the hear me going past that lorry there. Absolutely nothing. Just pure bliss. I could, if I didn't listen to music, I would literally just fall asleep in like two seconds. These seats are so comfortable. I feel like I don't want to stop on this journey just to prove a point, but I pro I'll probably stop because I'm not as young. I'm not as young as I used to be, unfortunately. Not as young as I used to be. So the days of me driving like 12 hours and not stopping have gone, unfortunately. I've got to go like everyone else does to the um, to the flipping service station and like have the world's largest largest poop. And the world's loudest, loudest one at that. Is it me? Like every time you go to a service station, people like the silence is like the the silencer comes off their ass, and they just completely let it rip. And it's just this, just the sound. It's literally you're just flipping sat there like, ah, uh, yeah. You just sit there, and all you can hear is, all you can literally hear is that, and it is absolutely disgusting. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. Maybe I listen to people fart and shit and all that stuff too much. But my word, I shouldn't really be taking that. I'm not taking the mic out anymore. By the way, I'm just saying that. Just, that is Pete, one thing I've always noticed. <laughs> people are gonna start thinking you've got a toilet fetish. No, it's just a thing that I notice every time I go there. Every time I go, I'm very I'm very an observant chap. So hence why I pretend to review cars on YouTube. <laughs> Um, that is one thing I always notice, and I always notice as well. Everything's like ten times the price, obviously, but everybody knows that. That's why everyone hates service station. And I've been to every single service station probably in this country, and every single time there's always one person like moaning and doing like the world's loudest poo, and it's really irritating. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. Maybe I hear things. Maybe I have like. A weird thing where I go into a toilet and I oh, all oh, I hear is farts all around me. But it's just me. That's another car I considered. E220. Absolute stunning, stunning wagon. Brilliant car. Zoom in on that thing. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Look at the way it holds the road. Look at it, look at it go. This ain't in breaching any privacy. No, this is public road. Look at it go, beautiful.
cycling to the left, do you think his car's like got a bit of drag to the left? Okay, well, series gorgeous, it's an estate as well. by my lovely dials, the warm glow. Um, it is now dark o'clock. The time's actually on the clock there. But can't read that. I'm too much of a millennial to read analog clocks. So anyway, yeah, it's um, getting late. Still three and a bit hours away, something like that. 86 miles of A1 to go. Um, still perfectly comfortable. Just put it in cruise. Sat there, I've got a very nice warning light on my dash for the ABS. Who cares? I'll turn it off and then it'll turn the car off and turn it back on and then it'll go away. I'll sort that out eventually, it's nothing major. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous, this is so nice. I haven't been on a long drive like this in ages. It's funnily enough, this is around the time um, we went on that massive Europe trip last year, the 5,000 miles. So we're doing 500 miles today, so yeah, well, 200. 98 there and 298 back yeah well 600 in total but yeah it's cool seeing a few of the decent cars and that's about it that's all you can say it's a bit very nice driver scenic i really like north yorkshire now but i don't like the service stations because they've charged 30 quid for an iphone cable i'm not dealing with that so i'd just rather run out of battery and get lost so i'll see you when we get there We have made it to our car park. Here for three days, I think, two days. Just listen to this. Bingo. Look at that. That. Very nice. Look at that, look at that footman though. Wow, that's right nice. They're so good. Nice, nice today. 
Everything is going very well during the trip, and then we were woken up at 5 a.m. by a fire alarm. Our wing, as you can see, is popping out, popping out there through the back because it's not, it's too big for the boot. But yeah, obviously no, no issues here. We are half the tank into our fuel supply, and we have currently unlocked a bit. So we had a quick stop over to go to a home bargain, obviously. And get some. It's a 75 approved suite, so let's. Let's get going home, man. So I'm not going to break down, obviously, so there's no, there's no real reason to stay much else. So, see you then. Made it back without a hitch, we've got the goods, which is this wing. So let's see how it looks. Obviously no issues with that. Absolutely perfect as usual. Yeah, that's slightly more blue. But, doesn't matter, this one's not rotten. So that's about it. So thank you for joining me on this magnificent journey. No problems from this glorious thing. Hopefully now you all know what it's like to, well, sort of what it's like to drive a 75 very long distance. We use three quarters of a tank to get to from here to Edinburgh and from Edinburgh to Pleen, and then from Pleen back home, we even went to the Lake District a little bit, so yeah, thanks for watching and keep watching. <laughs>